All right. Make it stop dinging. So, uh, everybody can look. Chad and I look similar, I guess. Uh, we're both redheads, we're both cantankerous, and we're both old now. Um, but he's back there filling up the cooler. We're on a trip right now from El Dorado, Kansas to Glenwood Springs, Colorado to the, shoot the Total Archery Challenge. So I've been a quick trip. And uh, the guy inside says, oh, your brother went in the bathroom. Like if he's my brother, I think I'd know where he was. Oh. Yeah, there's steps there, dumbass. See, look. They're fancy. Yeah, we, don't, we don't look that similar. No. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, crazy. but apparently everywhere we go, we're brothers. We don't even, we don't even like each other. Nope. Call <laughs> each other bullshit. <laughs> so. Dude, so everywhere, everywhere we go, we end up getting go. Oh, I saw your brother. I saw your brother. So uh, he said that, and I was like, Yeah, he's out in the truck. Cause we're leaving together. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is the story of our life, like it or not. It's a good thing we don't like each other. Oh, so, yeah, he's eating healthy. Yeah, and uh, let's have a moment of silence for all the states in the country that don't have a quick trip. Can't take that seriously. Okay, so we're what, like two, three hours in? Something like that, three hours in? Something like that. Uh, come by here. This is uh, Glen Elder or Wakanda. Because we missed our turn. What con no, we we overshot we, it. We by decided like, to take another route because uh, we had to it turn was around. Because we're Americans and we drive the country, see everything. Yeah. So exactly. we're about five miles, four miles out from uh, one of the greatest landmarks uh, in the history of America. If you ask me, <laughs> um, I'll show y'all when we get there uh, what we're talking about. But uh, I mean, you can't just go anywhere and see stuff like this. I mean, this is this is a a, a landmark of America. <laughs> sure. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna show, but figure everybody can see the uh, the view of the lake. I mean, and the bucks. Water. Wakanda Lake or Wakanda? I don't know. It's. I Wakanda promise you, it's not Marvel Wakanda. Wakanda Marvel Lake. Wakanda. I don't it, know. What's, that, what's the one with the the cat guy with the? Oh my God! Y'all are gonna hate me. Uh, Black, Panther? Black Panther, yeah, God, the, the, the cat guy, the guy with the claws. Yeah. It's a stupid character. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm not. It's right up there with Wonder Woman in the Lasso of Truth. She's hot though. Yeah, I'll give her. I'll give her that. But you know, like, I, I've got a. I've got a. Uh, I got a lasso. Makes you tell the truth. Yeah. So uh, I'm faster than a speeding bullet. So uh, yeah. But okay. she ducks when they throw the gun at her. Yeah. She's does. like Superman all over. Yeah. Again. All right, so we're about to pull in here, and we'll we'll update you. You can see this uh, cultural uh, icon icon of America. So we're in Cocker. Wait, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. We're in Cocker City. No, no, no. That's not it. I lied. We're in Cocker City, and uh, we're about to go pull up on something. I'm gonna have to edit this up. Here, here, here it is. Here it is. Okay, we gotta pull into the parking lot so we can see this. Oh, it got bigger. No, it didn't. Yeah. I've never seen it, so I don't know. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, it wasn't that big last time. I just keep adding to it. That's so not yeah. Bigger. Well, it, it's got to stay the largest. So okay. So who, we're in. Who is trying to beat that? We're in Cocker City, uh, Kansas. Um, just beacon of metropolis here. It's like <laughs> all of zero stoplights, and we're gonna go see something. So Chad's gonna check this out. I've seen this before, so I'm jaded by my experience of greatness. And uh, Chad's gonna see what this. This is ready. World's largest ball of twine. Ready. Frank Stuber's twine tail. Uh, apparently, he uh, decided to just put a bunch of twine put, in a put big some ass string, hole. and uh, he made this. So go stand next to it. It smells like twine. Yeah, it does. It's like it just smells like a shitty hay bale, honestly. But here it is. You see that? Look at that. You can climb up on it. But, so I can itch for hours? No. Yeah. So apparently uh, the high school kids like every year when they graduate or whatever, because there's like probably four people. Look, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Definitely not an A for basket weaving. Yeah. That is an awful <laughs> lot of do. That's cheating, to be honest. Look at the top. Yeah. That's it. You're just laying it on top at that point. Like, come on. You got to like 
That's in the Navy. Look so. at these bullshit knots. That's not even a real <laughs> knot. Look, I can pull it. Yeah. So, um, you can come here and you can, uh, that's a pretty kick-ass gas station though. That's legit. That's hey, cool, if, man. Hey, what if, can we put our own twine on it? Can I just get like a piece of like 550 cord and tie I, it? I don't know. Yeah, sure. No. Yeah. no. Apparently it's the world's, twine. apparently the world's largest ball of twine has a guest book. Um, you want to sign the guest book? No. I'm going to say, hold on, hold on. So on 7, 9, 20. Look, this guy's name is no. Everett Sal hold Salmon. On. What kind of name is that? He's from Benton. Never mind. That makes sense. Batman. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We got to put, uh, um. Gotham. Gotham. Because well, it doesn't say what state Gotham's no, in, no, so... You gotta put, no, hold on, you gotta put go. Batman and Robin. Oh, yeah. Alright. So there we go. So we signed the guest book. Batman. Um, I only put Gotham because I, uh, I don't know where state Gotham's in. I don't think it ever tells you. Um, it looks like New York area. So I figure this was just a nice... They got some pretty cool little buildings, though. I mean, look at this. Like, old school storefront. Pretty cool. But anyway... I figured we'd show you. Uh, it's not something you just drive by, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's what we're driving by the way. He's gonna leave me. Here, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, so we're driving this ridiculous truck because we like getting 12 miles to the gallon. Let me open it. Stop, stop, stop. And it's got these uh, footrests that like come out automatically. This is like straight up Mercedes, hey, Mercedes you can do, a pick. Maybe you can do like an amp step sales pitch and they'll give me free steps when yeah. i buy my next truck so we're sponsored uh by three companies uh one of those is southern uh sutherland's outdoors um I i'm actually gonna give them a legit plug we do a lot of business with them set our bows up with them they're really good to us um we also have on his hat right here psi um that's a he'd explain it to you emergency uh, service company they do a lot of stuff in refineries and make uh make magic happen so you can drive your car every day and, and the third sponsor is uh ass pocket um oh, yeah. so we reach back right there down in uh yeah that oh, that pocket God. right there funds a lot of these expeditions but anyway uh we'll sign off for a little while figure you guys wouldn't want to miss out on you know that that experience but sign back in later So we got to do this a couple times. I thought. I mean, a couple times. Yep. You guys got masks? Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> so we can kind of walk through this and check it out. So here's your Hoyt. The new Torx. So this is the 
the, I guess, upscale version of the Torx, and this is the base model or whatever. Cool. I like how, I actually like how fat the riser, riser is. That, like, chunky riser look. Mm -hmm. I dig that. Yeah, What's so the, the XT difference? has a roller. The shape of it reminds me of the, the original, uh, um, what is it? The one that came on the, uh, what the heck's the one I'm shooting? <laughs> you can't remember what you're No, doing? I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> uh, it's RX-1, basically. All right, we'll see. We're going to wander around. Yeah, we're going to wander At some point, we've got to get our packs and all that. We yeah. kind of came up. We didn't know how far we were going to have to walk up here. And then be like, oh, all the way back to the truck, but it's not too bad. No, it's not it's like too bad. right down the hill. Yeah, so, it's not too bad. Guys. so this is badass. Easton, Loot, Leopold, Performance, and so there's the practice range. There you go. We'll pick up some Yeti. Those guys. I think that's the truck. Huh? Yeah, that's the one you can win. Yeah. If you hit the shot. It's not happening. It's a, it's a Colorado or whatever. Are you even going to Well, you have the 12 range, right? Yeah. I'll throw one out there. How many, how many, how many options do you get? How many shots do you get? I don't know. In the, I think it's in the center, I'm pretty sure. No. It's usually off center, and it's usually. Because if you go for the twelve, you either get a twelve and you get. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Couple of T's. Look at bow spider. Yeah, I got the Check same this artist. out. So I can crawl, spot, and stalk hands free with my bow. Our patented feature is that bow leans away. It's locked. That's pretty cool. What's that run? Kits are 84.95 as that bow leans away, it's locked. I lean it towards me, it's unlocked. I got my bow. That's sweet. Hands free. See, I like that. I thought it was going to be a ton of glassing right there. It's here all day. When I go to hike in and out, put it back there. So that way I never miss another bull elk that's standing in the trail on the way out ever again. Yeah, it's more like whitetail on this in slick. general because they're in front of me and I'm a bad shot. Oh, well, yeah. But how much is the extra pot? Thirty four ninety five. That's pretty cool. That's pretty slick. Like That's pretty slick, man. Slide it back in. Radcast Outdoors <laughs> is my new podcast. Right on. So we can link that at the back of the video we showed earlier. So, yep. but well, both fire, podcast. pretty cool. I hope you sell a ton of them, man. Thank it's you. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I hope you sell a whole bunch. We'll go up on the mountain and film using it, and then. Uh, Cool. Send me some love. Will do. Chino. Jack. Back to Cam. Yeah. Yeah. Quigley 4x4. Oh. This is the van that we saw. Faru. That's the, one of those 4x4 vans we were looking at. They take, I'm assuming they, they're an outfitter for equipment. Yeah. It's always strapped to something, usually. <laughs> it's been shot by, I don't know, 50 or so paintballs. So, and it's held up and it still looks like that, so I like it. You guys familiar with the brand? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys get the coffee? Yeah. Yep. yep. It's great stuff. But, I don't know. We're like wandering back through. I left my wallet at the bottom of the hill, so we're coming back here. I'm going to lose some money, I think. Oh yeah. Dude. You guys selling any of your stuff? Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. We got a little stove. Yeti tents. So you're gonna do. I'm gonna try 100. We'll see. So where are you going to? 100. Sending it on the board. He can't drop all the way down to the, the 100. He's right at 90 before he's out of oh. tape. So. When did you just shoot that motherfucker? The lion's feet? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh my god, that's close. Oh, 
Well, you landed right at the lion's feet. No, I went right over the bear's the boar's back. All right. Where are you shooting at? I'm gonna do the boar. Okay. Hey. Hundred. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go halfway up. I'm gonna go halfway up, and I'm gonna try the boar again. Ready? I'm just right under. Lion hundred yards. Okay, look for me. I think you got it. Oh, you got it. That was fucking a kill Landed shot. It. <laughs> that was right. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah. Okay. I'll, okay. Let's here start. Go. Hey. <laughs> Better start now. 60 yard spin. There you go. 13, 14. Behind it. No, back, uh, back, back left leg. Yeah. That's where it was at when I let go. So we're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. You want to shoot another one? No, I'm good. You got to walk up there either way. Yeah, I know. Shoot a bunch of them. Anymore. <laughs> where am I at here? Oh my God, these things are going to destroy my arrows. Oh, neck. A little forward. Okay. You guys shoot good? Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill everything. <laughs> I hit them. They said these targets will do more damage than hitting hey. the rocks. I was right here. So I hit the same spot on all three animals. I was right here. You know when I was doing my holdover, you know where I was with my other three? Yeah. In the dirt, at the line with his feet. I need to put it, I need to put it. My God. I feel like I'm sledding again on the dam. My five-year-old would kick our ass at this. Yeah. Yeah, Maddie. Like, we're all complaining. I bring my five-year-old out here and she drag a naked Barbie the whole way up the mountain and not give a crap. <laughs> so that's the first three shots attack uh, on this little practice range. Dude, the practice range sucks. <laughs> so we'll see what happens when we get on the mountain. Chad needs to go. We need to go to the pool and it's practice. Really anyway. Yep. And that chairlift shut down. So we got to walk up there to the beginning of that chairlift. So no joke. Bring your A game. Uh, we're bring something cool. Prepare to walk. Apparently, apparently the chairlift is also social distance away from everyone else. Because we've got like a three-quarter mile hump before we get there. Is it really? And we're going to be at 10,000 at the top. So right now we're at like 85. Oh, hold on. Hold okay. on. Let it go Too late. Never mind. Now you can get in that side of the box. Okay. Look okay. My way. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, stand right next to it. Stand right next right, to it. Right here it comes. There you go. Come on out. <laughs> I feel like I broke it. There is no way. So, so. I um, feel really sketch right now. Yeah, so uh, OSHA makes me build a handrail in anything that is like 19 inches or higher. <laughs> I have to build a handrail or stairs. And look at this. Legit. Jason, I'm afraid I can't get my phone out of my bag. Okay. Well, I got you here. I got you. I'm trying. What? We got to stop complaining. I'm not complaining. I just feel like yeah. I may die. We're making this video look bad. No, we're not. Hold on. For all the Kansas hunters, uh, we're sorry. We're not normally this big of pusses.
view, right? Maddie? Yeah. What do you think? It's nuts. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. I gotta get a picture. Yeah. In Kansas, I get excited. I get get excited about like hey. a legit sun hey, sunset. Yeah, I found out how to keep score. Just put it in your notes app in your iPhone. That's good. Okay, idea. we'll do that. So we all forgot pens because uh, we're apparently scoring this just so check and lose. That's basically the reason. Hey, look, but other orange. than that, hey, who wants an orange? There's yes. An orange. And there's cow poop up here on top of the mountain, so apparently that happens. Uh, it's definitely not elk or anything else. It's straight up cow. The funniest part is like we're on the highest peak. Yeah, we're on the highest peak in this area anyway. That one over there is a 14 or we're at like 10, something like that. This is where you put it, you insert in the video. Ready, fight. All right, right? Hang time, yeah. Yep, snapshot, all right. 85. Oh yeah, that was Robert. shot over that branch. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say it was 85? I'll, I'll arrange it real quick. That was grass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got it, neck. Yep. I got body. I got lungs at you least. Got a lung. There we go. I got All right. So this is why we're losing arrows. That is a mountain lion. Yeah. Looks like 55 yards, threading the needle. All right. Get him, Chad. Or something eight nine ten or is, or is it like eight ten twelve right that's an eight whatever 57 yards set at 55 should have shot 57 yeah good job Jason but it's in rubber number three I'm assuming is facing the target that direction let's see target number three Oh God, you sick sadistic bastard. Sheep. Yeah. I'm down. Yep, I'm fucking do murdering it. this bitch. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pee. There we go. Drilled it. it. There you go. What is it? It's gonna be a whole, you get it? No. Yeah, Sound he got like it. it. He got it. It's gonna be a whole lot of like, hey, uh, just drop, just get your boat, run, now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number four, coming. Low, way low. Jesus, that pterodactyl. I got it. <laughs> I didn't start, I didn't start swinging until after. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my, okay, okay. I can't argue with that group though. So. These the wind is a lot worse right than here. I thought it was. These two arrows are mine. That group. But, uh, oh, guys, let's not do that again. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Sounded good. Wow, nice one. That looked really good. Oh. Punched it. Oh, yeah. Smoked him, dude. Strobes. Oh, you punched that. That's money. All right, you got shot of the day right there. All right, let's go see it. Ooh. Got it. Murdered it, dude. That was a good shot. It's legit. I'm actually going to get your shot this time. Ooh. You got far it. left, man. Yeah, you are far right. left. Nice. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. So you're setting this at what? 63. Splitting the difference between 62 and 65. Okay. But I'm shooting 65. But Killed it. A little jump there on your click. Yeah. I went click boom. Right? I didn't even look at the downhill slope. This is probably worse than the last one. Alright. Send it. Oh. oh that was leg. You got the leg. Want another you one? want another one? Yep. That's a good shot. Yep. That's a tough shot. That rock right there, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, talking to you the whole time. <laughs> don't miss. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. There we go. So, that's a dead deer. That may be a track, but that's a dead deer. Right? There we go. Ooh, Ooh way over. Yeah. Like that's a 12. Yeah. Pinwheel that sucker. There you go, there you go right? Yeah. You win that one. Woo. Nice shot. Right, 50. There's a bear, rhino, I think it's a bobcat, bobcat uh, turkey, something. I don't know. You look comfortable. Uh, a yeah. Little, a little high right. You're right on his yeah. right, top right ash cheek. You're all up in that though. Center man. Target 12. Uh, it was like, we're like halfway through guys. Uh, so that was, oh, I knocked over the cone. Oh, okay. This, I, thought you I kicked the log and it knocked high. over the cone. <laughs>tell you i wasn't gonna see that kill zone from where i was at and with that angle with like that because you were downward angle you would have came out about right here back here you would have got top long you would have got maybe, top long of one maybe this right here would have been double long no heart the back no but, you'd have been gut shot uh, no that look at the angle you'd have been that's gut, going yes. lung that's going yeah, well maybe been, front of gut long no not maybe you would have no. gut shot that and you would have got lung. Yeah, you would have got the other lung. No. But I might have gotten gut. Gut shot wouldn't have been bad, though. Yeah. No, you would have nicked the top, I think. I wouldn't have hit the smelly stuff. The fuck you wouldn't have. That's where we cheat and watch them. Huh? Yeah. Cheat and watch Not them. going in blind. I get to watch y'all. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dud, for that tree in front of the elk, by the way. Appreciate that one. Sound like meat. And I missed the 20 yard. Okay. Floating in the antlers at 100. Okay. Ooh. Tree. Fuck. Give me another one. <laughs> Here you go. Shoot straight that way. 114. And I'm I'm aiming an antler on a hundred yard pin. So. Did you fire one already? Yeah. Yeah. He got it. He hit it twice. He caught the tree. Something. Yeah. Her. You do you wanna you wanna uh, open the
jumping antler surgery. You gotta make sure you use the 10 blade. And uh, I don't think you're getting it, dude. All right, here we go. Yeah, bro, right, here we go. Back and forth might do it. Oh, I got it now. Dude, something's weird here. Okay. I mean, shit, dude. You're moving so much. Oh, don't need it anymore. It's got a piece of wire in it or something. Yep. Ooh, that was a good one. Where are you at yardage? You 66. 66. Oh! Ooh. I saw that one deflect. Oof. That was I'm low. Good. I'm good on that one. Was that low or low? Fucking smoked it. You hit the same thing I did, dude. You barely nicked the spine. High? Oh, way high. Like right. you about shot over it. It's the same fucking thing I did. Alright, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. There she is. Pretty good. I will say, train, train, train. Should be training anyway, but uh, no joke. Thing smoked me. 25 targets at least four miles. Um, basically back and forth. It ain't all downhill, trust me. It's downhill, uphill, everything. But uh, I'm gonna check it out. Total Archery Challenge. It's pretty awesome. So, just for perspective, way up over that hill, that it goes way past that. That's where we started. Hiked that whole mountain down through here where these guys are coming down. Just pretty much. I just got to tell you, train. But uh, overall, how many did you lose? Four. Four? You lost four? Six. You lost less than that. Six? Okay. Six, 14, yeah. Six. Lost four. So that's how many, like, and we're pretty good shots. And uh, yeah, four arrows, six arrows. No joke, one day. So if you're coming for a whole weekend, uh, just a clear paycheck. <laughs> yeah, for real. But it's been a lot of fun. We're gonna kind of wrap it up here, head back to the hotel, see uh, see what else there is to see before we head out. We're mostly mostly done for the day. Where? So I'm assuming that's not like a float ship where you just get shit here with a beer. No, we do those at home in Nola, Missouri. No, not uh, we Nola, get, it's Nola. Or Nola. We go, we go uh, get on a canoe and then lose your paddles whoa, and whoa, whoa. figure it out at the bottom of the at the bottom of the mountains. Those what are kind mountains. of friends do you go with that let you take a fucking canoe? We took a raft. I took a canoe. We rented, we rented two rafts. One for the beer cooler and the other one for me and Joe and Caleb, and then when Joe got really, really super drunk and passed out, we threw him in the other one with the cooler. But I did learn how to flip a canoe, though, and that is a skill that every liberal uh, coffee-drinking hippie should know. I... That's probably... I probably shouldn't say that. I'm not a fan but, uh, of canoes because I cannot row for a real A real man can flip a canoe. I can fall out of them really easy. Thank <laughs> you.